What? Me bigger than you, me Tarzan. <laughs> oh, really? Go away. Go away. Nobody likes you. Yeah. Go over there and think about what you did. I can talk to animals. I'm like Eliza Thornberry over here. <laughs> Someone. Let me see what happens if I do this. And I'm just gonna go this way. Oh crap! <laughs> Whoops! We won! Oh wait, we I'm gonna load. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I just hit myself with the missile. I was trying to get out of it so I could... Damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I was trying to lick it with a button and get back into flying so I could strafe or something. <laughs> Did not work out. That's the- Alright, you walk through that door, I'm shooting your brain box in. Don't just stand there, get down! Alien, come help me! Leave us alone! Help me, big mama! Yeah! <laughs> oh god, okay, that got me that time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I thought she was gonna go for the chick. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, and so it went from yeah to oh my god. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> The game broke. <laughs> I think he zapped me, but it's just the way that worked. It kind of went, and zap your dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's if I could do anything. <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty sure I died. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did not see that coming. Hi, Boomer. How you doing, buddy? Look at you running. What a cutie. Oh, God. You all right, buddy? All right, let me see. Oh, crap. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Where the beast of oh, oh, I can almost feel it. You almost have enough rockage. I feel like we're close. Come on, work game. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. This is not a song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can jump more in this without connecting. To oh! <laughs> it works. Daddy's free. <laughs> Time to mess with the ship. <laughs>
Jesus. I jumped so hard. Like that actually hurt my legs. I'm trying to jump away from my headphones again. Say hi. Yeah, if you see my clothes all strung about, I need to do laundry tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. I talk good. Ophelia. Say hi. Say hi. You're not very good at saying hi, huh? Big joke. The dark but it's meant to be dark. Come to negotiate, eh? Have you, you slimy git? Guess what I got? I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? What does my muzzle break do? Oh, wait, I just attracted North Koreans here. Crap. I see. Break down below. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I did to this rifle, but suddenly it does a lot of damage. It's a muzzle break too. Let's say without. I'll kill y'all. I'll eat your babies. Get back here. I'm gonna eat your kids. And your husband. I'm eating everybody out here. <laughs> when you're more orky than the orcs. <laughs> wait, wait, poison. Suck it. Hmm. <laughs> Lucky little biatch. Be friendly. Or be dead. He be dead. <laughs> I sent you down to Davy Jones' locker. Yeah, so the too early glitch should be fixed. I don't know how to <laughs> it's you, babe? Oh my god. Who be saying these things? No way. Frickin' flag, man. <laughs> so mad. Oh, we shoot you. Hello. <laughs> He's like, hello, gentlemen, and then right then got shot in the dark. What the hell was that? God, how many raiders in this area? for that <laughs> all of a sudden I realized where I was because I remember playing that part forever ago and fat man was already too close <laughs> and that's why I should wear a helmet and keep some of the radiation out <laughs> right did he just crash a spaceship into my face what the f they really want that objective. Ah! No, it's lit. It's lit. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Dingus. What the f- <laughs> Oh my god. Where even was it? Like, how did it get on my leg? <laughs> I already had the double. You.
howdy do. How's everyone doing? So someone took my name yesterday. I don't know if it was right after I said it or what, which made me kind of sad. Um, so I'm going to have to be faster next time. Uh, but yeah, let's get directly into this shit. Because I had to watch this without you guys, I will now play the intro. It actually looked a lot better with my computer running it. <laughs> this actually looks kind of shit, even though it's supposed to be 4K. Spread diseases, yeah. <laughs> Something terrible. Chaos. I do like the subtle effects they use for like the eyes and stuff. The thread grows once more as the bourgeoisie slumber. The bourgeoisie. <laughs> oh god, we're dealing with the uh, old school uh, communists. So that's the part you missed. <laughs> Nothing real important. Not as cool as the like the E3 trailer. Ignore that. <laughs> that was me watching myself a little bit ago. The galleys do look cool. I wonder if they're going to put ships in the game. For now, it doesn't seem like so. Like quite yet. It looks like it since it is like early, early. It's like the main town and shit like that. So yeah, since my name was taken, I had to do TV, which is kind of lame. You can't do multiple characters per. Oh wait, maybe you can. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Nope. I guess you can only do one character per. Yep. Which is Lame. I don't know who Austin is, but apparently they were a friend of mine on Steam or something. But yeah, the ships look sweet. Um, the creatures look kind of cool from what I have seen. I mean, I've only seen the low areas. I haven't really moved from the start. I literally alt that forward as soon as I got done with the character creation. <laughs> oh my god. Why are so many people wanting to be in? But anyways, yeah, so someone stole my name. And I want to find them and beat them over the head with my beard straightener, which I was actually going to use now that I think about it. I was supposed to do it during the intro, but I forgot, so I'm going to move my mic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, so far it looks good. Um, I don't know if my voice still sounds good. Let me know if I need to be a little louder or not.
couple of hairs just doing a little trick. Yeah, so I am hoping for ship combat later on would be really fun. If like you can have your crew and everybody jumps aboard like a get like a three story galleon with like, you know, fifty two guns or some stupid shit. And you all just start blowing the hell out of each other. I used to play back in the day this really old, like Korean MMO or something like that, where it was uh pirates. And the pirates game was fucking sweet. So it, it ended up with like you could have two thousand ships versus two thousand ships. I don't know how they did this in like the early 2000s, but apparently they could, and there was no lag. But I don't feel like they can do that anymore. Uh, let me fix the camera from yesterday. I figured out what it was. Apparently she put some uh, laundry over there in the corner. Oh wait, whoops, that's the wrong button. Where's the other keyboard? There it is. Yeah, so, um, it just sounds like I'm listening to someone give a speech on the stage with no microphone. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, how is it going to go up? Are people just not pressing yes, like enter? Oh, my God, it's up to 50 minutes. <laughs> I, I guess I'm stuck talking to you guys. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... That would be interesting to have, like, your crew all jump together and start fucking people up that way. Like, Sea of Thieves, but actually fun. Because Sea of Thieves was fun when the game first came out, and then, uh, you know, a couple months later, it was kind of dog shit. Like, I know they need to move the spawns away from the ship right after you kill it, because that was really annoying. That they could just respawn, come right back, and start fighting you again. Like... That was a little ridiculous, but that was more fun than what they're doing now. Because now Sea of Thieves has like zero combat. I think I played again once like last year and nothing happened for like the entire stream. I think what I rolled up to the the raid or something. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Where's my BTTV stuff? How do I find that? You know, screw it, I'm gonna cheat. Hey, bot! Hey, Lynx. Tell me what my other emotes are. There's the one I'm looking for. Alright, big. B. Hi, boo. Wait, is BTTV not working anymore? Oh, it works on the extension down there. It's just not working on... Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Ooh, I gained another minute. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, so there's new uh, follower emotes coming out, so you can have even more emotes on your channel and stuff. So these might... I think they're trying to kill basically BTTV, to be honest. And uh, Frank Z. Oh. My shirt today. Oh, it's... <laughs> Gone is like invisible because he wears a lot of green. Kind of looks slick in black. But, uh, my Hunter Hunter shirt. <laughs> Gone's like invisible as fuck. Oh, so the other thing I was doing, I was talking to, uh, Barb about it last night. Um, I might start doing reviews because I watch a fuckload of anime, especially at work when I have nothing else to do. I'm just watching things, so I might start doing little short reviews on things. But it's gonna be like, at a 10 scale. And I would say, like, because I turn my brain off for a lot of entertainment. Like, I just watch things. 
So I'd probably be like, you know, it was entertaining. I probably won't do deep dives and be like, this is the director and blah, blah, blah. And this is why the movie took so long to make and blah, blah, blah. So I'd just be like, it was fun. 8 out of 10. It was a perfect movie. 10 out of 10. Like, Endgame honestly would have gotten a 10 out of me. Um, the first Avengers movie was definitely up there, like a 9 or a 10. Like, it was so good. The way they did superhero movies, like, goddamn. After I had to suffer through all those goddamn Spider-Man reboots and watching Uncle Ben die like 19 times, it was nice to finally see Marvel pull their head out of their ass and <laughs> um, before Sony did and, you know, give the fans what they want instead of just trying to make what makes money. Huh, turns out the executives don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Got a question about what you think about the potential new military cartridge. Which one? Because they've been trying to swap to polymers, um, 6.7s. Like, they've been doing all sorts of this stuff they're trying to do is caseless, um, which seems kind of neat, I guess. I don't know how I feel about caseless, though. Um, instead of using brass, they're going to use polymer. Um, the polymer sounds cool. If it works the way they intend it, it sounds a lot better. But, because I know the other end of the military where it's like you have to clean up your own shit, hopefully people start investing in brass catches, which is something I wanted to invent back in 2010. But it turns out those have already existed, just no one ever used them. The military should completely, on ranges, use brass catches. Because <laughs> cleaning that shit up sucks. Finally made a suppressor that isn't toxic to the shooter. Oh, so what, is it holding all the gas? That would slow down the bullet, wouldn't it? Or how was the suppressors toxic to the shooter before? Because I know they already hold back some of the gases, and that's part of like what ends up happening. It's by NGSW. I wonder who that is. Let's look. Let's look them up. NGSW. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Uh, we're being productive today. <laughs> I went and got a new debit card and stuff because I lost mine like a week ago. And I haven't been able to find it. NGSW. Oh, okay, these ones. Yeah. I still don't like that they're trying to push for all these bull pups. Like, that shit makes me want to punch babies. Like, I know after a while you'd get used to it, or if that's your first rifle kind of thing, but... Lame. But I do think that everyone, um... Next Generation Squad weapons, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. <sighs> this is kind of stuff I used to work on. Or work with, I should say. Because they would give us the toys to play with. Yeah, the hybrid cartridge, that's kind of neat. And the composite case cartridge. And then there's the full polymer one or whatever. Case telescoped cartridge. Um, but yeah, because these would be like married to the, the round, see like 6.8. I don't know how I feel about 6.8 or 6.5. Like 6.5 doesn't really seem worth a shit in my opinion. My personal opinion, because I don't give a fuck about stopping power. If you shred their insides, you shred their insides. Like, aim for the face, neck. Like, the fatal T is good, but you can aim for, like, the chesticle and probably get an easy kill. Like, as long as you hit the lung or something, they're done. Yeah, <laughs> clearly I should have loaded the game right at breakfast. <laughs> Alright, so the polymer one seemed kind of cool, though, because if I remember correct, they're supposed to be, like, biodegradable or something. But more than anything, they're lighter. And that's the big deal. You should just invent the 75. <laughs> yes, bolter pistols all day. <laughs> I would rock, rock a bolter if I could. I'm sure I'd be fine. Just need to uh, do some lifting. Then just eat the fucking donkey kick off that thing. And, but if it hits someone, they're dead. Like their whole upper body's gone. Like a grenade went off of their chest. I mean, we already have frag rounds. So I don't know why in the military we don't issue out more of that. I mean, I know it's because we're supposed to kill, not wound, and maim. But, like, ain't nobody gonna live if there's a hole, like, the size of, like, my arm in their chest. 
just go around orcs and tell them you're literally immortal and is super powerful yeah exactly and if they believe it it's true honestly i have been of the head cannon for about 10 years that the reason that the emperor still lives more than anything else is because the orcs believe he is immortal and a god <laughs> That's kind of like why you never see the purple orcs, because they're invisible. Well, no, but that's literally a theory I brought up, like, had it been, like, early 2000s or something like that. I don't know if I'm the inventor of it, but, like, that was of my mind, where I was like, this makes sense. And now and again, I see other people talking about it, and I'm like, yes! Because I can't be the only one that thinks that orcs are amazing. Like... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> like, like anybody wouldn't walk up to orcs and be like, I'm immortal. And they all start believing it. Kind of like how if you run out of ammo against orcs, you could just start aiming your weapon at them and go pew, pew, pew. And they'll start blowing apart and stuff. Because they'll believe they're hit. <laughs> Went from 16 to 11 back to 18. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, what I would want in my perfect rifle uh, for what I used to do would have been like a, the Mark 18 that I really like from, uh, what's the company that does it? Let me look it up real quick. Um, Sword International Mark 18 Sawman Special It's a 338 Lapua semi-automatic rifle And it is Tit If you want to check it out real quick I can actually give you a link to a video This is my favorite video of it And it's uh, with Gunny Gunny Army just before he passed away Like had it been within 6 months to a year you just have to believe you're already in game. Yeah. I believe. Think game. Think. <laughs> yeah, I want to check out the PvP especially because that's my bag. But I heard there's going to be a big reset like wipe anyway. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try to invest too much into this game. Like, because y'all know how I am after wipes. I get fucking mad. Because I'm like all that grinding... All this loss of sleep just to start at level 1 all over again. It's part of why I don't make alts in uh, MMOs. <laughs> Only a hundred more. But, um, yeah, so if you run out of ammo against orcs, I just love that. You just go pew, 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 and <laughs> just blow apart. I don't know why that wouldn't be the way that the guard should fight from the beginning. Like, you save your real ammo for when they're extra close, <laughs> along with your bayonet. Back up to 18. But yeah, that, that 338 is kind of how I wanted to go if I were to get a my own rifle. So the cool thing about my unit is if we had our own weapons, we were able to bring them. 
depending on what it is. RCO is fully like, yeah, the shoot team can do whatever they want. <laughs> so, what I wanted to build uh, back then, but I was like poor as fuck because I was paying for like other people's house on top of my own and stuff like that. I, I was having a lot more. Uh, What would you call it? Like, I was spreading myself too thin. But I ended up uh, wanting to build a 338 semi-automatic like that. Because everyone already uh, wanks off to bolt actions because of, I'm guessing, video games. Because outside of, like, the Arctic, or, like, maybe a desert, you really don't need a bolt action. Like, there's no real reason to use bolts. Like, even my rifle, I, I always carried a barrel cover on it. Like, uh, so you buy these little plastic caps, just fits right over the front. And if you shoot it with it on, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't fuck with the ballistics. It literally just turns it into a donut. It's hilarious. Um, as long as you keep your dust cover up, I mean, you're fine on any rifle. And it'll automatically open up when it's time to go bang bang. So I don't know what the problem is. Just people wink off to bolt actions. Never understood it. But what you can do is, uh... Use a semi-automatic, you can go bang, maybe miss by like, you know, two inches to the low right. So then you just adjust up, high left, and then bang again. Instead of click, click, get back on target, bang, you know, it's just dumb. 20, <laughs> 20 millimeter bovers. <laughs> I mean, at the beginning of the Iraq war, like... They were building their own gun trucks. Even my unit was talking about it. Like, where they used to build, like, uh, Vietnam-style gun trucks. They they would have, like, a deuce and a half. Uh, put, like, a board in the bottom. Sandbags. Board. And then, like, basically turn the whole back of the truck into a machine gun nest. Um, sandbag double deep the back as, like, walls. And then they would sandbag up and over. And then, yeah, it, it became a big old, uh... Uh, gun truck slash pillbox kind of thing and they would just literally roll it up to places put it in reverse on the way to or something like that like just before the target and then just get ready with like a 50 cal <laughs> um, one of my sergeants were the last guy to have an M60 in country in Iraq thank you sweetie P this is why we love her everyone bow down to the mistress of, of Gatorade Uh huh? I can't hear you. That I called you the mistress of Gatorade? No, I said Gatorade. You weirdo. I do think Bolt actually still have a place until we have a gas system that doesn't freeze in areas like. See, that's what I said. In, in frozen conditions, yes, you would want a bolt action. But for most everything, even when I was at negative 30, my M4 ran just fine. If anything, it ran better in the cold than it did the hot, because there's less expansion. But yeah, if you're going to be in like the Canadian waste or somewhere like way cold, like yeah, sure, thank you, baby. That's pretty good. What'd you do this time? Hmm. So same as always, but it tastes different because I just drank some of this. <laughs> So I'd say mix in like 10% of this into that and it'd be amazing. <laughs> I was away from the computer for a sec. Oh, oh, I was saying, uh, yeah. So yeah, if you're dealing with, you know, frozen conditions, yeah, you would want to bolt just so that everything doesn't freeze up and all that crap. But yeah, for the most part, semis is where it's at when it comes to uh, tagging people from forever away. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the 20 millimeter or the M60 thing or the gun truck thing? I talked about three things. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, gotcha. I'm just slow. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
But yeah, in, in frozen conditions, that's the only time I'll say a bolt is worth a shit. Outside of that, though, you're just wasting time and effort, uh, you know, using the bolt. When you could have a semi and do the same thing. Hell, you can even, like I said, 338, semi-automatic. I um, mean, you're just like, poof, 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 poof. Just like dropping dudes, because there's almost no recoil with them these days. Not like there used to be with a lot of, uh, like, it's not an M1 Garand going, ping, ping, ping. <laughs> like, as long as you lean into things or lay down, I mean, you're basically fine. What are you looking for? Those are mine. <laughs> oh, look, we're down to 10 minutes after 20 minutes. Nice. By the way, what's all the seeds and dirt on this? Huh? You. Ah. <laughs> But that's my dream gun, is that Mark 18? Like, oh my god. Like, they need to put g guns like that in video games. And stop, like, wanking off to bolts, is all I'm saying. Nobody really uses bolt action anymore, realistically, in warfare. Like, maybe police do, but that's just because they're not supposed to be putting, you know, 10 rounds down range and 5 seconds. <laughs> when there's me, who's like, oh crap, they're shooting at me. Let me, uh, mag dump this first mag. <laughs> in their general direction. Um, like one of the things we used to do at the known distance range was practice with like uh, um, precision shooting with uh, like we might put something in the way and then try to still tag him in the head at like 800 meters. And this is all without scopes. Like some guys had ACOGs but they would usually pull them off of this. Because at a known distance range, if you can hit something with your irons, you can hit it with your ACOG or whatever you have. Um, one of the engineers we used to work with had a 40, 40 times zoom uh, scope. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, it was massive. But, like, it's so that he could be, like, a mile away or two miles away and still make sure someone's not fucking with his explosives. Like, if he had to blow up a bridge. You think one day weapon systems will get so powerful... They would ditch armor because it's useless. Yeah, like uh, in South Park, they had those guns where <laughs> injected you. Your head exploded like five seconds later. It becomes so good that we start using clubs like knights did. I mean, honestly, I would say we go more towards the Halo kind of power armor. Where it's like, yeah, you're armored, but if enough shit hits you hard enough, you're probably fucked. I would say it's kind of like an arms race in that way, though. You try to make armor that's better. You know, like, because World War II, we didn't really have armor. We kind of had flak jackets, but they were too heavy for most people, so they didn't wear them. Which, I honestly think, if you wore your flak jacket throughout the war, you would come out buff. Like, you would be unstoppably buff. Because those things were heavy as fuck. They were like 50 pounds or some stupid shit. Even my body, body armor was only like, I think, 20 pounds of plate? Maybe 15 pounds of plate? So like 30 to 40 pounds. And I was beef, so <laughs> I could only imagine what wearing a full jacket with sleeves and shit would do for you. And later on, they had the vesty kind, so. I remember a lot of soldiers didn't like it, though, because if they fell, they'd basically drown <laughs> in, like, a puddle. <laughs> jump cop dish, you could jump higher after kicking an IED. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking uh, booze out of the boot. <laughs> What's it called? A shoey? Honestly, it'd be probably more like who can kick the IED farthest and then accidentally like blow up the town next to them. <laughs> like it's like half a kilometer down the road and they're just like thump, boom. <laughs> Just raining shrapnel down. But yeah, no, that was my goal when I joined the military. Like, originally I wanted to be a pilot because I wanted to be an astronaut. And I was like, you know, all those weirdos from the Air Force end up astronauts. Maybe I could do that. When I was a kid, they told me because I, you know, needed glasses, I wouldn't be able to fly. Which is now known as bullshit. 
but I didn't know that as a dumbass kid, so I was like, fine. I'm gonna be an infantryman. And the end goal was to be like, be so good at your job that they build power armor and you're the first one that volunteers for it. <laughs> Which obviously didn't happen. <laughs> they do have power armor though, I will tell you that. Like DARPA has some cool shit going on. It's just not like what we would want. It's not useful. It's for like supply. So they can pick stuff up good. That's about it. It's not worth putting guns on. Yep, exactly. So now I get to see how the other half lived. All I need is lobster and shrimp every day, and I would be set. <laughs> All right, so that's actually a joke my un uncle told me that wasn't actually a joke. So when he first joined the Air Force um, back in, how have been like the 70s or 80s, something like that. He ended up going to their version of basic, whatever it is, and then um, they have those drill instructors that, you know, do their training and shit like all the other branches. But it came to chow hall time. He went to the chow hall and saw that there was literally like all you could eat, like shrimp cocktail, lobster tails, you know, like really expensive food. And he wasn't eating. And so his drill instructor came over and he's like, uh, why aren't you eating? And he goes, it's a trap, isn't it? Like, why the fuck would they put out shrimp and stuff if we weren't supposed to get in trouble for eating it? He's like, this ain't the army. Go eat food. <laughs> so he ended up eating shrimp. But yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I will say, though, that streaming, as I said the other day on Twitter... It's more stressful, like when it comes to content creation in general, I should say, it's a little bit more stressful than being shot at. Like I would almost rather get shot at because there's less to think about and I just do the thing. You know what I mean? Where this, it's like, I gotta remember to upload things afterwards and I gotta do this. I gotta remember to put tags on it. I gotta remember to make it go live on the damn YouTube channel because I forget <laughs> all of that stuff. Turns out the US gets trillions in budget. Because the Air Force eats day old lobster as punishment. Yeah, like not even joking, man. Um, I actually talked to some of them after they had just gotten done with their training and I had been in for like a year. I was like, hey man, how was it? You know, what'd you guys do? And I was talking about, you know, yeah, we had a weapon day one. When'd you guys get yours? And they're like, we didn't even get to use it. We didn't even get to touch it. We got to look at an M4 and we looked at an M9. And they said, like, if shit hits the fan, this is how, you know, work the trigger, this is how you use safety. But if you have other people around, like, you know, Marines, Air Force, or um, Army or Navy, maybe hand them the gun or, or your extra ammo. <laughs> Which I was like, I mean, it's good advice, but what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I think it was like a year when I finally got done with my training, or damn near it. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. About eight months. I'd say eight months for everything. Because I, I was all at one base the entire time. And then when I swapped MOSs, it was two weeks. Two weeks of training. Just to make sure I knew what I was talking about when it came to being a grunt. <laughs> and since I'd been with the unit for like four years at that point, I was just like, oh, pff, easy. The training wasn't even hard. It was literally like, I because we had such a small class of like six dudes, it was like 10, but like one got dropped because of a uh, family emergency, which was my roommate. So I ended up with a room by myself. And another one got dropped because of whatever happened. Um, I ended up with a uh, room to myself and firing off over 100 AT4s um, myself along with the other guys. Like, they gave me their extras. So I fired off like 100 AT4s that week. Um, I fired off like 200 rounds of uh, 40 mil for the 320s. Because even though I had already had a 320 back at the base or um, at the armory. They uh, had to train the new guys on the 320, so <laughs> I had fun.
um, on the Mark 19 range because they knew that I had already been doing that shit for years. They were like, they had me blow away trees. There's some trees on the range and they're like, they're old and dead anyways. They hit that tree in the middle. I'm like, that one? And I'd go, dum, dum, dum. And then he would see it go out. He'd be like, yeah, all right, let her eat. And then I'd put like 15 rounds into it, just watch the tree fall. <laughs> Some tough ass trees that want to live out in the middle of a uh, uh, like a heavy weapons range. <laughs> I miss that Mark 19 though. That was my baby. Um, I was our heavy weapons guy on top of everything else. I took on a lot of dumb responsibilities when I think back about it. Like I carried the 50. Um, if I wanted to use the 50, like that was my responsibility. Um, sometimes I'd have someone else carry the barrel. But yeah, shit like that, like, no wonder my knees are fucked. Um, the Mark 19 was uh, my favorite weapon, but it wasn't my responsibility, luckily. That was my whole uh, platoon's responsibility. I think we had like two 50s and two Mark 19s that we almost never used any of them, except for the 50 and one of the Mark 19s. And that was just when I felt like pulling it out. I'm like, alright, let's, let's go do this shit. <laughs> Half time people would watch me walking around with it like it's a rifle because <laughs> back then I was so beefed it felt like it was like 10 pounds now I'd probably pick up a 50 and just be like son of a bitch how did I used to do this <laughs> but yeah I was so oh that's another thing R50 was so fucking old from like World War 2 it made it from a bomber um, like you can see it on the hand receipt or whatever it was. Um, it, it came from an old World War II bomber. Um, I think they used it in Nam uh, because the uh, feed tray, that's the only part that had been changed out, was the feed tray had the sight mount so you can actually shove like a scope on it. Thanks, uh, you know, uh, White Feather. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. You champion you. <laughs> I was wondering, did he ditch the 50? He had to have just left a fucking nice 50 cal with a nice scope on it. I would have at least taken the scope. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he had the sight mount from Vietnam, and we were supposed to be using it in Afghanistan next. I mean, I think it had already been to Afghanistan, but that was before I got to the unit. I think they did two deployments to Iraq and one to Afghanistan before I got there, so it had to have been in all three incidents. Like, you know, you just <laughs> smuggle the whole tank back home. Dude, yeah, like, the fact that we can't get war trophies anymore makes me mad. Like, don't steal family heirlooms or something crazy like that. But if a guy has a gold AK, I'm sorry, why can't I have that? <laughs> I'm not saying it's okay to kill people, I'm not saying I'm pro-war, but why can't I have the golden AK? <laughs> what if I put it, wait, 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 what if I put it on a chain and have it dangle from my neck like, like, um, old school rappers had like, you know, big old clocks and shit like that, like, uh, oh, I can't even remember his name right now, Flavor Flav, like Flavor Flav, if I do that sort of thing, is that not legal? <laughs> like, why do customs gotta fuck us on the way back? They get mad if we bring knives back. Like, our own knife. Or, God forbid, it's a multi-tool that you left in one of your bags. There are some ways to get things back that I know of. and um, So the ones that are public that I know for sure, um, the guy that got arrested for sneaking back, was it gold? Or weed it was something yeah he snuck back a bunch of shit inside his tank so that was interesting so I can't just grab morphine backpack <laughs> oh backpack nope we didn't get a we didn't get morphine at least I think the medics might but half the time I wouldn't use morphine like that's just gonna kill people I'd rather be in pain and alive than have my heart rate slow down and I die because I fall asleep. <laughs> like, tourniquet me and, uh, I don't know, tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I 
You just start drooling all over yourself, like... <laughs> I love that scene in Band of Brothers. Hey, you got any extra morphine? Hey, Doc, you're not using it on yourself, are you? <laughs> I'm sure that was actually a problem during World War II, though. <sighs> oh, definitely in Vietnam. It had to have been. I mean, right now, I would have said, if anything, it would have been heroin in Afghanistan, was it? Or, no, I think Iraq had most of the uh, poppy fields and shit. That's why I find it weird that World War One or II, um, the poppy, like, flower is considered, like, something to do with soldiers where I'm like well that's kind of fucked up <laughs> because of what it's used for medicinally and also not medicinally and also where we find it now is like Afghanistan there's like poppy or uh, Iraq I think it's Iraq that has the uh, poppy fields everywhere which is also why a uh, little known fact we can't fuck with their uh, sale or, or their um when you find packs of like the heroin or weed, you can't do anything about it, which I wouldn't anyways, but like, we're not supposed to destroy it because it's their number one export and NATO rules or something says that we can't fuck with people's uh, main export. I forget what exactly it falls under, but yeah. I was like, well, that's dumb. And we can't take the seeds or anything back either. <laughs> so. You find weed or something, which the best in the world apparently is Afghanistan. Can't do anything about it. Can't bring it home. Can't do nothing fun. Can I play now? Okay. The music kind of reminds me of uh, Star Wars for some reason. Like, not quite, but, you know. Reports to that we found five kilograms of marijuana. Got it. I'm telling we found three kilograms. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can't exactly be Border Patrol. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If I was in Vietnam, though, I don't think I would have done drugs. Because as fun as it would be to smoke weed and stuff to, like, kind of chill the fuck out, what if you're high and then the enemy attacks? Like... I don't know, that feels really sketchy to my brain, where I'm just like, I don't know how I'd function at that point. Cause I'd probably be like, it ain't my problem, man. I'm just gonna lay here in my ranger grave. <laughs> Though it'll figure itself out. <laughs> just hear the claymores going off. <laughs> eh. Cheddar Dow, what is that? Tripping in the... I don't know if I'd want to do anything that would make you trip out either. Like, I think weed would be my limit if I was gonna smoke in Vietnam. Like, some of those dudes were full on doing heroin and it's like, why? Like, I know shit's bad, but holy shit. <laughs> God, at least be like my ancestors, just do, do some peyote. Well, I guess that trips you out too. Never mind. <laughs> That's not much better. You'll probably go full uh, Far Cry 3 and 4. It's supposed to mean I'll, I'll kill you. Aww, oh, that's why the Dow looked familiar. I don't remember what the cat apart means, but like, I've seen Dow a lot. We've just seen a Mafia 3. Oh, that's right. Okay. I really should have did Mafia 3, but I was just so happy that I did 1 and 2. I just wish the DLCs had more to them. They're, they were very uh, Grand Theft Auto y. This one. Right. Let me check that out. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Christ. Oh, yeah. I remember I'll show you in the goddamn face. Now we're. Okay, I would love to replay uh, two or three now that I remember. Like, in the DLCs should be good from what you were saying. I just haven't had time yet to really get back to it. Who <laughs> said PTSD couldn't be fun? <laughs> me when I used to fuck with my buddies. <laughs> also, me. Hey, stop being so loud. <laughs> don't yell at me. <laughs> Oh, speaking of don't yell at me, uh, today I had some prick uh, try to fuck with me at a subway. Me and my lady went and did our thing. Uh, we were productive. We went to the subway. I go to the subway all the time. I know the manager because my sister used to work there, all that stuff. But I'm sitting there eating. Everything's pretty chill. And this guy comes in um, and starts being kind of a dick, like from the get go. Like, instead of asking for things, he's demanding things, like, but he's almost yelling at them. And he goes and says things like, um, more olives, more olives. And I was just like, the fuck? So me and like the two other people in line were like looking at him like, what the fuck's going on over there? And then he goes and says some other stuff and then no salt. And then starts yelling at them, no salt. And it's starting to get really annoying. So w right when he said that, I'm like, bro, could you at least say please? He's like, what did you say? I said, say please. And he's like, do you work here? No, but I'm not a fucking dick. And he comes over to me and he's like, you want to go outside after I get my sandwich? I'm like, sure. He said he wanted to talk to me. So I assumed that's what it was. <laughs> but me being like a little bit retarded, I was like, oh, okay. He doesn't mean talk when uh, she told me later on. No, he probably wanted to fight you, and I'm like, I would have won. He's old. <laughs> Maybe not. I have no idea. I honestly thought he was going to hit me in the face with his uh, helmet. Um, it's like an older uh, black dude in a decent, like, button down and, like, dress pants. So I was, like, not sure where he was. But I, I basically was like, dude, just say thank you and shit. Like, be polite. But he was being such a fucking dick. And uh, the other employees like thanked me afterwards and uh, on his way out he was talking mad shit and I was like uh, because she was like you, you should stay and I was like all right you know I'll stay so I sat down I sat down instead of going out I tried to be the bigger man and he said you you know she saved you right and I'm like okay bro so uh, he kept talking shit though and the employees and the uh, two girls in line uh one was younger one was older were like just leave and even i was like why don't you learn to be polite and just fucking leave like say thank you for the food and leave oh i i already bought cookies so <laughs> i was covering on that man the older lady actually came over and she's like hey thank you for that you know bless you and then left i was like that was really nice but like my adrenaline was like up to here because once i realized oh he wanted to fight me i was like yes Oh, yes, it's been a while. <laughs> like, I think that's why I need to go to a UFC gym or something where I can kind of get the aggression out that I've been holding on to for like five years. Or get my ass kicked a little bit would probably be good too. Just don't break my knees, that's all I ask. <laughs> What's left of them? Yeah, I used to be pretty good uh, when we used to do our fights in, uh, with the company. But it's been like, you know, four or five years now, so I, w I wouldn't think I'd be at the same level. But still, like, I, I fully thought that we were going to go out there and just talk and just be like, hey, man, you know, you should be more polite and ask for things instead of demand. Because the way you were coming off was just really dickish, where even the other people were just looking at you like, what an asshole. But instead, like, I guess he wanted to full on beat my ass. And I was just like, let's do it. <laughs> just because that blue hair doesn't mean I'll kick your dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey look 13 people left but that would have been funny if I got a free cookie for that no I, I personally think though that everyone should stand up for employees give them the old dick twist grab his dick and twist <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, everyone should stand up for them because they are on the clock and they cannot stand up for themselves. 
Like, so, uh, a couple weeks back, I did the same sort of thing at her work. Um, there was a Walmart employee there, because uh, her work's inside of Walmart, and just complaining about something that easily could have been fixed by her physically bending over, grab the thing, put it where it needs to be. But instead, she wanted to just bitch about it. And so I said, why don't you pick it up? And she said, because I'm not working right now. I'm like, cool, that means you got free time. Why don't you pick it up? She's like, why don't you come over here and pick it up? Well, you noticed it first. Why don't you just pick it up? And she's just being such an asshole about it. And I was just like, how about fuck you? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I forgot. She says I'm like, fuck your mother. And I'm like, that's the best you got. Ooh, it's scathing. That hurts so bad. <laughs> but yeah, the lady ended up leaving. I'm like, good. Piece of shit. <laughs> And she says something like, that's what's wrong with this generation. I'm like, what? That we got respect enough to do things instead of bitch about them and do nothing? <laughs> she had to have been like 50. I don't know. I, I just can't abide by people being dicks to employees that can't fight back or say anything back. Like, you know what you're doing. You know they can't say anything back, and you're taking advantage of it. You want to get your aggression out? Join a boxing gym. Do something. But don't fucking take it out on employees at, like, a fucking subway. Because then you're just a dick. I mean, fuck, I try to kill everyone with kindness, but holy fuck. Sometimes people just need to get punched. I can have it? Okay, cool. Thank you. Hold, please. I'm about to do my creation. This kid's is what we call science. I made purple. <laughs> indigo. That's not indigo, that's purple. Indigo's a blue. It's a blue-purple. Are you gonna get mad about this? You, get, you did the rolly eyes. It's azure. <laughs> I'm just making a joke. <laughs> Actually, that's really good. It could have used a little less of this and a little bit more of what was already there. I'm not putting cranberry juice in there. Five more people need to get out of my fucking way so I can beat people's ass. I don't know if we're even going to get to the PvP today. I was hoping to. I mean, it's only, what, nine more days to the wipe, so... Now add about a half a bottle of rum and you're good to go. Speaking of rum, I think I actually have rum right now. Yeah, I think it's... No, I think that's the red sherry. Never mind. Uh, red Shiraz. Yeah, it's the Al Capone blend. Um, I still have some of that from when we played Mafia. I still haven't drank it. I got it on Christmas. I <laughs> still haven't drank it. I drank, what, three shots out of it uh, during... Uh, the Mafia playthrough and I just wasn't super into it. I mean, that's why I think half the booze just sits here in my room. <laughs> it's because I'll have like six shots or something like that out of the whole bottle and just not care. Where's your Fallout 76 Rum Cola? Did I ever actually make some of that? I think I did at one point, actually. Nuka Rum. I know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure it was called Rum Cola or something like that. Or Nuka. It had to do with Nuka Cola, right? And Rum. Hmm. I don't remember. It's been a while since Fallout 76, so... I've been thinking about going back for that steel update if it's free. Um, I wouldn't mind checking out the boss and stuff, seeing all the NPCs being game. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm still, like, damn near max level or whatever it was. Or was there not a max level? It's free? Okay. So maybe I'll check it out. So on top of the other stuff I want to upload on YouTube, that should be one of the things. <laughs> I'll do it so you don't have to. I'll just call it so you don't have to.
But yeah, uh, the biggest mistake of that game, on top of all the broken shit and copying the wrong version of the game. 50? I could have swore it was at like 100. Oh, they must have scaled it down. Hey, I'm in. New World Beta. Alright, so most you miss is that the ship went down. And this is what's left. What's up, bruh? Swish, swish, stab! I'm better than Tucker. <laughs> I gotta say, for the amount of money they put into this, you not that bad. Come closer. Your captain needs you. There's something wrong. I'm not feeling right. I always love an MMO that actually voice uh, has voices to the NPCs. That instead of reading. Storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build right. Something isn't right. I don't have it. To come so close. It's not fair. What? What's happening to me? I can't die. What if he becomes not the final boss? Like this. <laughs> hey, look. Easy um, cleanup. Can't just double click. Ah, oh, there we go. That's kind of neat. Well fed. Oh, cool. So there's bonuses. Oh my god, the jump of garbage, though. <laughs> Oh, so I turned on a setting that says auto uh, vault over shit. Just hoping that would mean I, I could just Skyrim up things. What if there's like a secret weapon over here? They find the dev weapon. It's like a one one tap kill all. <laughs> My favorite were the uh, WoW dev weapons. If you guys have ever seen them, they're fucking cool. It's things where they like attack 90 times in a second kind of thing. It's just stupid as fuck. I like that vault animation. <laughs> oh, are you coming? Alright. Let's go then. Oh wait. That was weird. I don't like that the character's to the right. Is there a way to shift the camera? It is. And eh, I guess that's fine. Shift heavy attack. Hmm. Guess there's no way to loot that stuff. I have bad combat though. It reminds me of um, ESO. Excuse me. Dodge! Oh, that's the wrong dodge button, no wonder. <laughs> Um, so you don't get points for your special anymore, but they add a new feature where 
you can preset skills and stuff, so it's not much of an issue anymore. Hmm. That sounds weird. I just remember there used to not really be a level cap, so it was like... I was able to get to like 150 or some stupid shit. I remember they finally introduced the um... They introduced the um... Expansion. Oh wait, am I accidentally becoming a tank if I do that? I don't know, I'm sure I can reset it later. How do I get out of this? Oh. Oh, gotcha, I see what you mean. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I think I'd have to change up how I built my character. I don't remember what I did before. I just miss the good old days when you can jump from server to server to do good stuff. I wonder will he auto turn? Like will he follow the path? No. Just... Oh, that's kind of pretty. MMO, they're trying really hard to keep me from jumping off of cliffs. <laughs> I like jumping off of cliffs. Oh, that's kind of gross. Hey, bro. Oh, it's you. I was joking about you being the final boss. Please don't be the final boss. Oh, fuck. He got bigger. You would have been better off dying at sea! Damn, dude. You got some range to you. I like how the dodge isn't really working. Like I want it to. Damn, dude. You got some range. Nice double back. Alright, bro. I think this is my best way to do it. Oh. Did I just get teleported? I think jumping down like that without shoes is a good idea. Yeah, like it looks all nasty. I'm gonna get tuberculosis <laughs> or something. I just got Star trek <laughs> He's just mad because I was doing too good. Oh, look, rocks. I don't know if this is good for anything, but... Loot everything. Yes, even that grain of sand. <laughs> I mean, that's me most MMOs. Until I understand what I have. Like, and then I can prioritize what I actually need. Like in Conan and stuff like that, that was like the name of the game. Bloop. 
Good afternoon, A, bro. Day 27 at sea. Yamu has steered us in the right or in the wrong direction once again. Land has been spotted in the distance, but is not marked on any map. We have that, or we are more hopelessly lost than ever. The way they wrote this is kind of weird to my brain. A storm approaches to the west, and supplies are running low. So I found the last one. Oh. Oh, he's worshipping fire. <laughs> I'm so good at beating things that don't give a crap about my existence. Wait, is it not ready? Oh, okay. Ooh, I can make purchases. I don't even know why I'm running this way. I should really go back. Why is this guy all up on my junk? Okay, so you can't really charge attacks afterwards very good, but that animation was funny. It looks like it just went, Dink, you're dead. Okay, I know you just got comfy, so I'm sorry. There we go. Alright, let's see. Oh, that time it kind of worked. The combination is going to need some uh, getting used to. came in this way and told me to go this way. Let's go to the giant glowing dick in the sky. <laughs> oh, I just got 15. Or that could be a level thing. I wonder what that is. Alright. Hello there. Rough landing, wasn't it? Um, wow. You're actually looking quite... Healthy, all things considered. <laughs> Luckier than most. I wish I could see your face. <laughs> oh, you on the no. ship? Well, a long, long time ago I was, but I've been here for <laughs> many years. Watch a lace and race at your service. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you as well. Though, to be completely honest, I wish it were under better circumstances. Yeah, I'd, I'd like some shoes. Give me those shoes. See, um, it would be nice if I could offer you a cup of mead and say, Welcome to Eternum. But this isn't really a welcoming party. Then why are you here? I came from the Everfall settlement to check the beach after the nasty storm that sank your ship. And to deal with your less, um, fortunate crewmates, I suppose. Okay, what happened to them? Ah, well, you came through death all right. But they came back soulless lost, the drowned. It's an unpleasant task. But I could use help at least trying to put them back to rest. If you're willing, of course. All right, cool. How many do you want me to kill? <laughs> Just say the word. I'll murderize all of them. <laughs> oh, I got ammo? There are guns? Oh! <gasps> Guys, there's guns and arrows. I want a rifle. I'm gonna shoot everybody in the face. <laughs> oh, I'm so terrible. Defeat the drowned. Okay, it doesn't help me run faster. Alright. 
just an instant hit. That was weird. Alright, so they can attack through your attack. That's good to know. Oh, that was a good jump. Alright. So the good thing about this game is there's a lot of movement. Like, I actually kind of dig that. Get backslashed. Is that a rifle? Sir! Sir! Is that a rifle? Oh, I can get a rifle soon. What is that? Ooh, more bullets. I'm gonna make so many dead red coats. gave you a little closure. Hey, ready to embrace your new life in Eternum? You'd be surprised. Some of it is actually quite nice. Yeah, sure. Uh, like I said, I didn't think to bring along mead. But I do hope you feel welcome. Warm yourself by the fire. Cook something, if you like. Alright, cool. Got anything Sorry. to cook? But there's some delicious boar nearby. Get some flint and wood, make a skinning knife at the fire, and I'll point you in the right direction. Alright, so I need wood. I got a fuckload of flint. Could have just steal it, I guess. Haha! Gather wood from a bush. Oh, okay. I'm guessing any bush will do. Skinning knife. Then we're good to go. Oh, yeah. A wooden long sword. <laughs> One of the best crude skinning knives I've seen. You've done this before, haven't you? Sure. So. Ah, and now you're all set to go on a little boar hunt. Oof, they're ornery. But I think you can handle it. Hunt one down, skin it, and cook yourself some rations. You deserve it. All right, I'll get to it. Mmm, boar. <laughs> all right, I kind of dig this game. <laughs> I haven't played an MMO in forever, but this might be my favorite one so far. Put down the tools. Utilities. Ambush. Dodge. Nice. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. Rations, 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 rations. Oh, mm, that smells delicious. <laughs> You're lucky you washed ashore and never fall. We have the tastiest game, and really the best tasting food in general. Nice. The Everfall settlement is not too far. You'll want to head up there soon. Uh, but I hope you'll stick around for a bit longer. Perhaps help me deal with this mess. Ugh. So people on Eternum don't die? Sometimes they do. But for the most part, you're right. Seems to be the blue Azoth on the island. Some kind of magic. But it's not always perfect. Sometimes people come back corrupted or lost. <laughs> that can't be fun, can it? Yeah. What can I do? Uh, you've probably already realized this, but the storm that wrecked your ship and others, it wasn't exactly natural. <sighs> Corruption. Always been a fact of life here, but honestly, that was the worst storm I've ever seen. Okay. Is there a soul That's threat? the question. We need to be sure. We also need to gather records from these ships. So, maybe you can help with that and look for any lingering bits of that nasty corruption. It would mean a lot. Alright. Oh, wow. One man war. <laughs> okay. Search shipwrecks for records. Well, that's cringe. Someone said poggers. <laughs> yeah, but the, I wish the jumping was a little bit more satisfying. Oh, okay. So it actually took into account that I had already found the journal. It's pretty sweet. Captain Huang, First Mate Guo, Chief Technical Officer Jia, Second Mate Zan, Navigator Yimu, Boatswain Jun, Rigger Han, Surgeon Huo, Engineer Shuren, Gunner Ah, Gunner Gexen, Quartermaster, Quartermaster Meng, Cook Chin, uh, Messman Fang. Oh, there we go, getting a little faster. Oh, you're a dick. 
I got nothing for it. Okay. Well, that looks cool. Hundred five damage. Wait. Wait, does it say change skin? So you can change the skin of the. Ah. Age 9, 84. So it's slightly better. Bro. Alright. Let's go! Alright, so you better hit with the hammer, because if you miss, you're kind of fucked. This is all kind of slight practice learning the mechanics before I end up dealing with PvP. Alright, and then if I hit tab... Okay, never mind. I thought that would bring out the other weapon I had. Like a secondary. Wish there was auto loot though, so I didn't have to stare at bags. I like, keep looking. There it is. Hammers manifest. 20 crates of non perishables, 15 muskets, 200 units of shot, 25 long swords, gold bars for possible bartering, one milk goat. <laughs> oh, does it go directly into here? That's cool. Some of these drowns seem chill. Okay, so there's no stunning unless they receive a stun debuff. Fucking around, let's go look at the thing. We traveled there by coach, and I was not privy to the visit. Isabel met, met the man in his cell alone and spoke with him for hours before she finally returned. Her eyes were bright, and where the tedium of days had worn upon her, she seemed invigorated with new life. I've seen this look before. I fucking hate you. I am reading. Fucking cock. That'll teach you. I have seen this look before, and I do not like it. It was the light that burned in her brother's eyes. Her father's eyes. Worried. I asked her how the conversation had gone, and she said the treasure upon the man was not the Azoth but the man itself. He was living proof that the fountain of youth existed and it could grant eternal life to those who found it. The Isle of, A Isle of Azoth was no legend, it was true. I asked her what could be gained from such knowledge and she laughed lightly and replied, because he says he can take us there. Come on. 
One more. It's kind of easier just to fight through them. There we go. Oh, I just realized I haven't been upgrading at all. Oh, I see. Okay, so these are considered secondary stuffs. Crowd crusher. Back to what I was doing. Wide well, swing that knocks enemies back for 4 meters to create distance and deals weapon damage. Increase number of absor damage absorption by 10% if surrounded by 2 or more enemies within 3 meters of the player. I could do this all day. Reduce stamina consumption by 30% when blocking. Hammer time. Gain in power on heavy attack. Increase attack damage by 20% over 40 seconds. Epitome of bonk. <laughs> Increase the armor penetration by 10% for all warhammers. Armor breaker. A powerful swing that penetrates 35% of the target's armor and deals 140% weapon damage. Holy shit. So this creates... This Own target is affected by crowd control. They are slowed by 20 seconds. Oh, nice. So both hits worked on both of them. That's good. Alright, let me get back to reading. <laughs> Armor breaker, powerful swing that penetrates at 140% weapon damage. Make attack unstoppable. Trauma. Opening act. Increase arm breaker. Increase. Into the... Yeah, you know, yeah. Now I have two attacks. How dare you touch me? Cool. So what was the saying? Um Yeah, I'd probably try out the muskets now. Alright, then 
back to this real quick. We had leaving attack. And he's dealing 160% weapon damage to both these attacks. Like, beat the shit out of people. It even sounds like Mjolnir from uh, Thor. How much does this hammer do? 91. Damn. That looks smooth. Oh no. They can interrupt my attack, so I can't interrupt theirs. Alright. I think that's the last bit of information I needed to know before I do PvP. confident. Alright, and there's like a second delay before you can use your next um, skill. That's kind of weird. Where'd the loot go? Too. Um, I think I'm on Yama or something like that. There's a Y in it. I don't know, is there a way to see that? I have no idea. Fuck you! No! No! Fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Click ship's flag on the stern. No! Stop auto-jumping, you fucking asshole. I, I might have to turn that setting off real quick. So I should really get into that. Alright, let me sit here for a sec. <sighs> Let's see. New skill. Strike the ground around the target. 
with the hammer, dealing 120% weapon damage to the of enemy. <laughs> All these attacks just make me feel like Thor. Yeah, if you want to come play, uh, I think you just have to add me on Steam if you don't already have me. Which I imagine you do. Okay, gently. Yeah, I have a setting that makes me auto vault over things so I don't have to care as much while moving around. Because that'll really su save me in um, PvP. Oh, actually, I just checked the time. I gotta get off here soon. So I might be on, but not streaming in an hour or so. Or a couple of times. Yeah, I get fucking wrecked. Oh, I forgot I have a new ability. Let me see. Maybe this will help. Are you unglitched now, sir? Sir. Like ship's flag from the bow. Oh, look at you. You pick your people. Oh, wait, I missed. Night night. Got a gun now. And only 36 rounds, so I'll probably stick to the hammer for now. Let me see how much damage does it do. 93. Okay, so it actually is technically my. 6, I guess that's it. I guess later on when I can set up a secondary weapon, I'll set up a rifle. For now, I'll just save the ammo. It looks like I'm inside of it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like I'm weirdly trying to claw my way out of it. Boar blood. I would probably really dig the tracking abilities. I used to love the leather work and stuff that goes in, into it in uh, other games. You mean I can't just knock down a tree with my giant fucking hammer? I mean, it took like an hour to get into the server, so I kind of feel bad ending so soon, but that's fine. She's got to sleep for work in the morning. <sighs> they fired someone, so... Sucks. Where am I going? There it is. <laughs> nice. Gotta get faster.
Yeah, this has to be one of the better uh, so far. I haven't tried the PvP yet because that's my main selling point when it comes to uh, MMOs for me. Hey you, let go. But yeah, that's my main selling point is uh, if I enjoy the PvP, I'll play an MMO. Two-time back-to-back Emperor of Cyrodiil. ESO. <laughs> I don't know if it was back to back. It was damn near it. But that was like grinding for like a whole month. Let's see on top of that. That was just before I started streaming too. There we go. Thank you. Remembering the ships that crashed here is kind of a tradition in Everfall. Uh, it may seem a bit silly, but it helps us feel connected to the old world. Makes sense. Thank you. Oh, there's definitely oh, still the remnants of corruption about. And that is really... not good. Okay. Uh, where does it come from? Oh, ask five people, get five different answers. Some say it's a manifestation of the inherent evil in humankind. Others seem to think it's some kind of brain disease. I just know it's bad news and nothing to trifle with. Okay. To be more good. precise, in fact, it's a bit of a disaster. If the corruption gets entrenched down here, it'll reach the settlement in no time. All right. Ah, simple. We have to find the source and destroy it. Whatever it is, I think it's an undertow cave. I won't complain if you go investigate, but just be careful. Anything corrupted is insanely dangerous. Neat. Can I just kill NPCs? Nope. If you're willing to venture into that cave, be careful. Okay, so I can't. And remember. I feel like Thor, though. <laughs> Like, yeah, it even makes the Thor sounds. Okay. I'm gonna jump off here. I'm gonna be back at it tomorrow. It's kind of fun. I might do some offline stuff for it, because like I said, it's gonna be reset anyway, so I'd have to go back through it. So I might as well get really good at, um everything enough to see what to do and then basically speed run it next time yeah that makes me happy all right hope you all had a wonderful time i will be back uh let's say wednesday so i should be back tomorrow night um proper time because i don't think we're going to be out for too long tomorrow so everything should be fine. But, uh, yeah. Have a great evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to... I don't know if I read this offline follow, but, uh... Paris Honeybee, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the home of the mobile infantry trooper. Now you're one of us. Just in case I missed it. Yeah, have a great night. And have fun.